Well, howdy do, cowpokes, and welcome back to your favorite 10 insane details you probably didn't know in Red Dead Redemption 2. For this episode, we're going to be looking at Lonnie Shack, one of the places where you can do an optional home robbery uh, solo, or you can do it with Sean in Chapter 3. There's a lot of things that you can miss in just this small portion of the game alone that was worth making it into a 10 detail uh, series, uh, a episode into the series. There's a lot of different outcomes, scenes, dialogues, and things that you can miss, uh, and I'd like to showcase them here right now in case anybody hasn't seen them. So starting this out, there are a couple different ways you can approach the house. One, you can approach during the day to where you'll hear the inhabitants of the house having a good time and drinks and having a few laughs here and there. And then the other option is you can approach the house at night when everybody's knocked out and asleep and attempt to do the robbery in a stealthy way rather than busting in the house and killing everyone you see. So I'll go ahead and let the scene, first scene play all the way through in case anybody has never seen this before. And then from there on, I'll show you all the different outcomes and scenes that you miss. You can! Your class is soaked as me right now! Yeah. Well, but I'll still be going when this young comes up. <laughs> well, what, what about the other night when you was airing your paunch and oh, every corner? Man. Oh, oh, it stank to high heaven. That weren't the whiskey! It was bad Martin! Back me up here, fellas. Three glasses down, and this one could be pissing in a horse's ass, and he wouldn't know no better. <laughs> no, he wouldn't. No, sir. No, no. You ain't the best drinker I ever know. What are you talking about? <laughs> You're just messing with me now. Oh, no. Uh -huh. you, know. you always do that crazy thing where you try to scratch your ear with the single time. What's You're he doing? Shut the hell up. <laughs> All three of you, you sons of bitches. <laughs> Baby, don't cry now. Oh, we love you. Take it easy, will you? What, what the hell is that? It ain't right. <laughs> <laughs> ain't nice. <laughs> you get your feelings hurt. Oh, we get your feelings hurt oh, now. Oh, oh, get out of here. Oh, Let me God. scratch your ear for you. <laughs> 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 oh. oh, man, did your piss stink. Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh wait, wait. Oh, oh yeah, false alarm, false alarm. <laughs> oh, well, you better go check yourself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think I, I, I may have drew mud on that yeah. one. Well, there's too many things for you. That's going to itch uh, when it dries. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh. 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 I think I'm gonna go rest my eyes. You were right. <laughs> you can't handle his right eye, huh? Oh, yes. Huh? Man, it goddamn it, stop dancing circles around me. Hey, I got a pass. Oh, oh, okay. Maybe like. And here's what happens if you are noticed when trying to sneak up on them during the day. Holy smokes! We got a problem here. Help! And here I'll be showing how you're able to sneak in during the nighttime when everybody's asleep. Now if you make any sudden or loud movements or for some reason you decide to be a complete moron and pull out your gun and startle them for no reason like me, then you can see what happens whenever they wake up, they'll immediately start attacking you. 
Now, after killing all the outlaws, and if you leave one left and don't kill him, he'll give you the location of where the loot is hidden. This actually changes depending on who you leave alive each time you do this mission. So it's best to make a game save before doing this so that way each time if you want to see all the different possibilities and outcomes when it comes to this, you can go back and try each time and leave a different guy of the gang alive. So let's just say you leave one person alive, he'll tell you that the loot is hidden under his bed. If you leave another person alive while doing this, they'll tell you it's hidden in a sack and under a floorboard and so on and so forth. So it's just a couple different things that Rockstar added into this that show you many different outcomes and that each player is going to have a different experience while playing the game. Okay, shit! I give up! You're the only oh, one left! Give it up now! Give me one reason why I shouldn't put a bullet through your head. All right. There's a sack of grain in the kitchen. I stashed my cut there. Go. Get out of here and never come back. Ah! You're the only one left! Give it up now! Don't shoot! I'm unarmed! Give me one reason why I shouldn't put a bullet through your head. All right, all right. Un under the pillow on top of my bed. Just take it and get out of here. Go. Get out of here and never come back. One reason why I shouldn't put a bullet through your head. Okay, okay, there's a loose floorboard in the kitchen by the wall. I hide my cut there. Go. Get out of here and never come back. Well, but I'll still be going when it's oh, hell oh, hell hell hell. Oh. Now, another way you can complete this home robbery mission, as I've stated before in the earlier part of the video, you can do this with Sean as an optional side mission in Chapter 3. We had no time for politics. My dad would say that no politics was politics. That old world bullshit, it ain't got no place here. Why? Because there ain't no judgment here. Most folks hate the Negroes, they hate the Redskins, the Jews, even us Irish. <laughs> you ain't so free of politics. I hate everyone just the same. Well, in that case, you're gonna want what I just found for us. What's that? I was riding around a couple of days back. I come across this old cabin. A couple of fuckers lazing about outside all liquored up. <laughs> I didn't think nothing of it. But then I come across this hunter down by the river. He tells me they're a stick-up crew. Says they hit a train a couple of days back near Emerald Ranch. Nice fella he was, shared a bottle we did. Then I robbed the bastard blind. <laughs> and you believed him? No reason not to. If he's right, it'll be a big haul for us. We saw three of them, maybe more, but I reckon you and me, we could take them real easy. All right. What the hell? Let's go check it out. <laughs> Damn sons of bitches, think they're mean? <laughs> they're about to get a lesson in mean. Also, depending if you yeah. already oh, committed the home robbery Let's solo sure and decided to do this mission with Sean afterwards, you know Arthur will mention doing. that he's already been to Lonnie Shack previously. You know, I've been here before. Is that a problem? No, just didn't realize you meant this place. While making a plan before going for the attack, Sean will tell you to hang back while he does the talking. If you ignore him and walk up to the house with him, there'll be some unique dialogue from the man on the porch and from Sean himself after everything goes crazy. Now in this instance, this is what happens if you do decide to hang back, but while Sean is in the middle of trying to divert the man on the porch's attention and you aim a gun at him or start firing, Sean will remark about you not following his instructions. Hey there! Whoa! I'm going to give you about five seconds to get the hell off my property, boy. Uh, look, don't want no trouble. Just thought you might like to know we passed the victim. The lawman headed this way. Who oh. do you think you are? Ah! What the hell, Arthur? I told you to hang back. Let's just deal with the rest. 
And now this is what happens if you approach the house besides Sean. The man will actually have unique dialogue regarding that. Whoa. Now, I'm gonna give you and your Whoa. daddy about five seconds to get the hell off my property, boy. Uh, look, we don't want no trouble. We just thought you might like to know we passed a big posse of lawmen headed this way. There were a dozen of them coming up east. What? Where? Right here. Heads up, Arthur. Here come the rest of them. After clearing out all the attacking outlaws, there'll be one left in the house to tell you where the loot is stashed. Now you can yourself take the lead on this and aim your gun at him and ask him where the loot is stashed. Or you can hang back and let Sean do all the work for you. If you want to leave, you'll tell me where that money's stashed. Well, all right, all right, take it easy. Behind the, the wall in the bedrooms, if you stick your hand between the gap. All right, you go grab the money. I'll keep an eye on sunshine here. Go. Get out of here and never come back. Come here with your hands up. Nice and easy. You saw what we did to your pals here. Okay, okay, I give up. Don't you? I ain't armed. Tell us where you stash your money, and we'll let you live. Well, all right, all right, take it easy. Behind the, the wall in the bedrooms, if you stick your hand between the gap. All right, you go grab the money. I'll keep an eye on sunshine here. You know what? Just get the hell out of here, and don't look back. After deciding to spare the man, if you kill him afterwards, Sean will remark about Arthur's cold-blooded nature in mercilessly killing an unarmed man. You're a cold one, Morgan. A cold one. And now finally, after completing the robbery itself, if you go to the bunk on the north facing wall, you can see underneath there a weapon case stashed underneath. If you open it, inside will be a rusty old double action revolver that you can get early or that you don't have to purchase. Some folks don't deserve it.